subscribe to the channel or don't but, but please do subscribe to the channel island seeds in minecraft are great you can live on the island or maybe you just want to be near an ocean monument whatever it is i have a great variety of 20 survival island seeds working for minecraft 1.19 today please remember that this video is recorded in java edition so structures won't be the same in bedrock edition but terrain should be similar all right let's get started Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with a pretty decently sized plains island. Throughout the island, we can find a few sections of oak and birch trees. Over on the eastern side of the island, we've got a pillager outpost. One of the cages has some alleys. Then of course, there is a loot at the top of the outpost tower too. I just thought starting off the video with a pillager outpost island would be cool. Now let's check out another plains island that is a decent size. It's another Plains Island, but this one has some big sections of stony shore and a little section of beach too. We've also got this little stone island over here too. My main reason for sharing this seed is because in Java Edition, the island has just one tree. I'd say that provides at least a bit of a challenge. It's definitely different than an island full of trees at least. Let's go ahead and change it up a bit with a dark forest island. I'd say it's a pretty fair sized island. The island sticks out of the water a pretty fair bit too. We can actually find some small sections of lush cave on the island cliffs and some inside of the little caves too. But this spot right here is my favorite part of the island. Just the way it generates looks really cool. So that's our first non-plains island in this video. This island here is actually kind of unique. At first look, it seems like just a pretty normal plains island. It's got a nice shape to it too. But over here, there's just the ever so tiniest piece of savanna with an acacia tree. That actually gives us two different types of trees. Just the fact that the biome is so small is really unique. And again, it's a nice shape for an island too. In the next seed, we've got another biome for this island. Of course, as you can see, it's a taiga island this time. Just another type of island for those who may be interested in this biome. Over here, there is a really tiny spot of forest biome. The island is sort of like floating too. I really like how the water is just underneath it. Pretty cool island. At this point, most of you know I like island village seats. Obviously, this is one of those seats. We've got a pretty decent sized plains village. I also like the look of the village pass and buildings out in the water like this. In addition to the plains, we've got a swamp biome here too. So that makes the island a bit different for sure. There's a big beach on the island too. And also check out this little cave entrance here. It leads right down to the ocean and water caves under the island. Not sure I've ever actually shared a swamp island village until now. This time we've got an island on the edge of a frozen ocean. Seeing icebergs near land always looks pretty cool. It just adds a bit more atmosphere to the area. My favorite part of this island is this little cove cave type area that cuts through it. It's also another island with just one tree. And on the eastern side of the island, there is a shipwreck. It's right next to the icebergs. I found two chests with loot inside. So yeah, I like this seat a lot. Now we have an island that's basically split half and half between a savanna and a plains. The island is definitely a pretty great size. Having the two tree types is certainly useful. The island also has a stony shore section and there's a small beach. The terrain on the island is pretty flat across it. An island this size could be useful for a lot of people. Southwest of the island, we can find a mushroom island. It's actually a pretty big biome overall. It's always just nice having a rare biome like this near spawn. There's a lot to like about this seed. This is a seed that I really like the shape of. As you can see, it's a plains island with a couple trees. On one side of the island, we have a hill. On the other side, we have a stony shore section. I guess I'll refer to it as a cape since it jets out into the ocean. So yeah, an interesting shape to this island, I think. How about we check out an island with another different biome now? We really do get a ton of birch trees on this one. This little piece of floating land here is kind of interesting, I think. I also like this little offshoot of the island here. 
Just northeast of the island, we can see these ocean ruins sticking out of the water. I'll let you explore them, but they could be a nice reward to visit if you complete a challenge or something. So there's your Birch Island Seed. Getting into the final 10 seeds, we have this Jungle Island Seed. There's actually this little cave here that leads right to the ocean, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, the island jets out with tall cliffs out of the ocean. I love islands that have massive cliffs like this one. They really do just look incredible. I think the jungle biome makes it look even more awesome too. I'll just never get sick of seeing islands like this. Right off the northeast of the island is an ocean monument, so this is nice to have close by. You'll want to be careful on this side of the water though. This seed is just so awesome. We've got a bit of a special seed here now. I think you can see why. Remember that in Bedrock Edition, this woodland mansion probably won't be there as structures generate in different places. I'm giving you the coordinates to the front entrance of the mansion. It's actually waterlogged by the ocean. On the bottom floor, I actually found some alleys. On the middle floor, I found an arena room with some loot on the top section. And on the top floor, I found 10 rooms, including this hidden room here. If you break into the ceiling of it, we have one chest with loot here and another chest with loot here too. Right over southeast here, we can see an ocean monument. Definitely another useful structure to have, especially with it being so close to the island. And then off the other side of the island, we can find a useful ruin poking out of the water. It's just this little ruin here, but it is worth it to visit to find the chest. This is for sure a pretty unique seed. Next up, we're going back to a more typical island. This one is actually pretty much split in half though, with one half being a forest and one half being a plains. There's a bit of beach here too. We can also find this cave entrance that leads down to some pretty big caves. A good thing about the forest is we get two tree types and you'll probably find some bees too. So yeah, just back to the basics here with this one. For those looking for a beach, well, I have one for you. This island has a pretty big beach biome stretching through it. You're probably going to find plenty of turtles on the island too. Just a really cool biome layout for this island. My favorite part of this seed is the cave entrance here. Such easy access right to a mine shaft. And there's even a minecart chest here too. There's a lot to like about this island. Okay, let's see something unique again. This one here is a windswept savanna island as you can see. Windswept terrain is always wild to see. I think it's even more wild when it's on its own as an island. If you're looking for something realistic, this isn't for you. But if you're looking for terrain that's wild and crazy, well, here you go. We've got floating terrain, we've got hilly terrain, we've got flat terrain, we've got waterfalls, we've got floating blocks, We've got caves. There's just so much craziness here. I need to point out the ruined portal here too. A pretty cool place for it to generate for sure. And it's got some loot here too. Getting into the final five seeds here, let's check out a pretty interesting seed. I was looking for an island village and I came across this seed. The village itself is a pretty decent size with a bunch of buildings to explore. We've even got the usual generation of the buildings and paths in the water, which is cool. But what stands out is this section of sparse jungle over here. We don't usually see villages stretch into jungles. So with it happening on an island, it's just even more unique. I just thought that was really cool. One more cool thing is this little opening here that leads down to some big water caves under the island. And then over here, we've got an ocean monument. Look how close it is to the village and island. Just another awesome thing about this seed. I mean, I really like this seed a lot. Next, well, let's look at another biome island. This one is obviously a Badlands Island, and it's another wooded Badland, so you don't even have to worry about getting wood to start your world. The island itself is pretty big, and it's got some pretty big cliffs too. It really does look fantastic. And check this out. The mine shaft generates exposed on the side of the cliffs. I love the chains generating like this. But my favorite part of the island is that we get access to a lush cave right in the middle of it. How awesome is that? I just love lush caves. 
there really is just so much to like about this island. Entering the final three seeds, let's check out a Sunflower Plains Island. The island is certainly a long boy, just so very long. Of course, the sunflower biome makes this island feel pretty great. So many sunflowers just stretched across the island looks pretty cool. I really like it. This seed has some stony peaks as an island. Obviously, that causes the island to have a pretty high elevation. And it causes the island to have some cliffs too. I've already talked about how cliffs are really cool. So let's just show them here and not say too much else. I will say the calcite here looks pretty awesome though. Underneath the island is an ancient city. This was my main reason for wanting to share this seed. I just love finding seeds with ancient cities directly under spawn. Pretty neat seed. And to finish off this video, I'm going to call this a classic survival island. In today's Minecraft, most islands are pretty big. So finding a small island like this feels a bit nostalgic. It really does bring me back to my early survival island seed videos. It may sound funny, but I'm really happy to have found this seed. A true classic survival island experience, but in Minecraft 1.19. Off the east of the island is a shipwreck underwater. It's a jungle and spruce ship. There's actually three chests on the ship too. Towards the southwest is an ocean monument. Just one more aspect that adds onto the survival experience. Great to have it. But yeah, I just had to end off with this classic survival island. Be sure to check out my blog for all the coordinates and information about the seeds in this video. Click one of the videos on screen now to see more Minecraft seats. If you want to help me out, leave a like on this video. For more Minecraft videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.